Micah, this is where it happened, these white pillars behind me outside the Islamic Center of Southern California. As you said, a man defaced those pillars on Easter Sunday, but staffers painted over that foul language this afternoon. Los Angeles police say a figure dressed in dark clothing left an even darker message on a place of worship early Easter Sunday morning. Around 12.40 a.m., an individual caught on security cameras wrote hate-filled words in permanent marker on a front pillar of the Islamic Center of Southern California, located in Koreatown, condemning Muslims. City leaders and community members call the mystery man a coward, responsible for what is considered an act of vandalism that also rises to a hate crime. The apparent anger underlying the stark message is so unsettling, it prompted a news conference with L.A.'s top cop. We'll solve this crime, but the bigger challenge is solving this issue of hate. The attack is not just on this center or what's happening in other parts of the world or the country, but it's an attack on our city as a whole. People of various faiths say the words cut deep, emerging during the holy month of Ramadan for Muslims, Easter weekend for Christians and Passover for Jews. Investigators believe the man responsible is homeless, white, about 50 years old, five feet, nine inches tall and 180 pounds. His clothing was all black with an unknown design on his shirt. He also wrote King 222 did this on one of the front pillars. Is this what the vandal calls himself? We're still studying that issue. Is it, is it a biblical reference? Uh, from the Old Testament. Uh, we don't know if that's it, if it's a rambling uh, uh, remark. Victims point out this is not an isolated incident, not the first time the Islamic Center has been a target of hate, vandalism, or violence. Although it's something sad, it is something that we see time and time again that brings the community closer and strengthens our bonds with each other. Police are now working with local businesses and the homeless community to try to identify the culprit. Anyone with information should contact the LAPD. Live in Koreatown, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.